I just started the stream. We're gonna do an introduction. Hey. You introduction. just started your face. Hello and welcome to another Hello. episode of Dungeons and A-Holes. As you can tell, Dustin is already flapping his fucking gums. Hello, chief asshole. Chief! Then chief asshole. He's, I, I he's the king that. of the assholes. So, <laughs> the rest of the asshole sound off we have today, we have Ben, we have Yay. LJ, we have Zach. Not my fucking king. We have, yeah. my, we have myself, Samus, and then we have our DM asshole, Tobrell. Tobrell, Who's your daddy? do the DM introduction oh. bullshit. Today's fine adventure, brought to you by the folks at TSR, is from Dungeon Magazine 28, the module name Sleepless. Also, I would like to put out there that some of you, I may have fucked your mother. And apparently, motherfucker is now inappropriate. We're gonna have to switch to parent fucker. Parent uh, fucker. fucker. Yeah. Because it's only we fair. Be PC because of and not just give it to We we don't want to leave any of our friends out who are. Also but that's what you do fuckers. when you make statistics. You have people included, and you have people excluded. Five percent of all statistics included. But you're 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 a personal hero. The the great and mighty Emperor Obama is trying to include everybody, so <laughs> you, take the, you take the excluded parties and then you change all the laws so they are better off than the once included parties, you're, right? You're just That's... trying to make shit up and it's not working. No, that's how socialism works, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that, socialism. that a big thing? Like everybody no. has to be make a party to tear other parties down. Yeah, that's about right. We'll make Dustin work, and all of us will do shit all day. I so make one, shit all day. Six of us, five of us, all five of us oh. will sit around and jack off, and he'll work and pay for all of us. That's more I like communism, it. not necessarily yeah. socialism. We have to I jack off like guys, together. You guys need to get the work. shit right. Well, no, we're gonna have more stuff than him, so it's not communism. <laughs> I thought like communism was everybody got paid exactly the same, regardless of what you were doing. Allegedly. Well, which too, would, like... which would be what it is if you guys aren't doing anything. And well, no, because no. we weren't no, gonna give no, you an equal with, share either. With, so with socialism, the money you're making is getting taken and funneled into supporting everyone else in society. Oh. Whereas in communism, regardless of whether or not Ben's a doctor and I'm a freaking garbage man... This conversation makes me want to cut myself. Well, you should probably should. Remember, it's up the street and not across the lane. Yeah. Excellent advice for life. Uh, so, how about this uh, Dungeons and Dragons? So, uh, Miguel's uh, player said he'll be a little late. There we go. He's That's probably busy having intercourse with a parent. Oh, he's a motherfucker too, isn't he? Yes, again, I we we've established this that with that particular terminology, only one person in the group gets excluded. Oh, ah, that's fine. I'm used to being excluded. I said parent fucker. I'll mail you someone's mother. I say you just bite the bullet and you just have sex with a. <laughs> Have a sex with a mother one time. Join the club. We'll we'll get matching T-shirts. <laughs> I can see I can see the exploits involved in that. Zach's Zach's on Craigslist late at night. <laughs> Looking Craigslist for a mother to fuck just really one time. Dating website. No one's saying anything about dating. This isn't about dating. This is about joining our elite organization of motherfuckers. Uh, elite. You know. On the flip side, you could be the tasty uh, middle pie of a of a couple trying to get their freak on, and you could twofer. Yeah, all, all you have to do is just slip her a finger just one time. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Pretty sure you're gonna stick it in. You gotta finish. I think you guys have a very narrow definition I'm, I'm... of what sex is. Hey. <laughs> The thing goes in the hole. Uh, the, the thing? thing the hole. You can't even say penis. Oh my god. Doesn't have to be a penis Can we please roll hole. some dice now? No. God we, damn it, you're the one that are fucking this up. 
I roll dice understand. to determine sex. I dice uh. say all no. Alright, so. No. <laughs> last time on the adventure, we had a very sparkly uh, area now where some of you, I believe Samus and Hadrian, fought a variety of chain devil to the ground while the others of you sat around and drank hot cocoa. As I remember, yeah. I was no, victorious I over this subquest. fight. Terry went on his own subquest to subjugate all the various <laughs> undead in the catacombs. He, no, he wandered, he wandered off and woke up every ghoul in the, the catacombs that I had to destroy with my friggin' Patronus charm because I killed like six of them. True. I guess it is fitting for the anniversary of Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins! Yeah, we can do this one. Oh, I could go out here and out here again. Yes. That, that event is ten years old. Really? A little more than yes. that. Nope. Yep. I refuse In like to feel two old. weeks. I refuse okay. to feel old about that. Be well, old, that's... motherfucker. There we are. But remember, but somebody said half of us are old enough to run for president, so <laughs> you suck it. <laughs> but somebody did mention how old the, the game uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night was the other day. And that made me feel old as Like games and games I've Great, now you made everyone depressed. I hope you're happy, John. I, you know, this uh, Dungeon Magazine uh, episode is about as old as you are. Really? When was it published? Are you gonna make me look this shit up? You, you say stupid shit, I'm gonna make you back it up. April oh, 1991. Uh, it's a good thing we don't have any any followers right now. I was six years old. That's that's fucking. That's nothing. So if you type into Google, is it wrong too? The auto completes are sleep with your cousin, sleep with your stepdad after yes. your mother dies, yes. like your cousin. <laughs> live together before marriage, yes. be by, sleep with your sister, yes. question God, cheat, yes. or be strong. There are ways think... you can question God and not be wrong. I don't think you have a whole lot of time there. Uh... Can, can we... Can we clear the map and have a have a monster? Can we get right into a combat? I cleared the map. And bust I cleared us, the map like twelve times. Bust us right the hell out of this funk. And then you don't you don't actually start like what the fuck are you doing? What happened last time? I'm so confused. He was just catching everyone up. There was a fight. I was awesome. Uh, I had to rescue. Yeah. I had to rescue Dustin. Uh, bitch, please. Uh, you were dead. Uh, we I killed the monster. Together. I mean, you kept me up and kept me from falling and dying. And uh, killed the monster. <laughs> and killed the monster. You woke him up before he go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a shitload of treasure. Are you, are you sure you killed the monster? I'm pretty sure I, I figured out how to abuse the whole area of effect, area of... <laughs> or line of effect, I'm, line of I'm sight I'm just saying thing. the monster died. <laughs> It, it's not, it's uh, inconsequential who landed the killing blow. We were a party. We do. We, we you were asleep and unconscious 80% of the combat. <laughs> the liar and you're an ass. Why are you hey guys, so I've, been, about it? I, I've been using the, uh, the familiar wrong. It's only touch spells, not range spells that I can cast through it. So that, that, um, <laughs> casting, um, witch bolt through it, I can't do that. I don't know if I should laugh or cry, but he felt like that was the appropriate opportunity to jump in with that. <laughs> I don't like, know. By the way, I've been cheating, you guys. Please stop <laughs> fighting. Please stop arguing amongst yourselves and argue with me. <laughs> and just blame everything on me. Oh, please. Please have your scapegoat. I go into the middle of room 15. Time. What do I see? Room 15, go. All right. Hallelujah. Now, now the next game of the adventure. Next, like, fuck you guys. You find the adventure. Make a percentage. You have found the adventure. Oh, did we rest? I feel like we rested. We took a short rest. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, we sleep. haven't taken a long rest. Okay. That means I don't have a lot of stuff left. A couple of firsts and a third and a... pretty empty. No? Yep, I got, a, I got some first level spells. I, I got, got a couple of things. Do a That's about it. We can rest up a bit. Uh, you guys are built I got a couple of things. Yeah. Does oh. that have my two wild shape backs? I'm okay for now. I've got like two first level spells. I've got a second level spell. Yeah, I'm okay. Two third level spells. I got like one of every level spell, so I'm okay. And I've a couple and of twos. I've still got four points. But my okay. fourth level spells don't count, so it's fine. Yay! You know, I saw Miss Lewinsky on a TED Talk the other day, and she's looking pretty hot. There's one to that out there. Anyhow. Okay, congratulations. I'm glad for you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just let this silence linger for another couple of seconds here. No. Silence is no good for podcasts. Well, it's silence not a podcast. Lost viewers. Well, we, we just lost our only other viewer anyway, so. Because the only viewer was me. Oh, was it you? Yeah, oh, God damn it. see if we have any viewers, and I was like, oh, we, we don't have any fun viewers, and so I left. Well, really? He was listening to our motherfucker conversation and left. <laughs> oh, this is how you play Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. So, Area 15, <laughs> Ceremonial Chamber. Strange symbols and runes are painted over the surfaces of the wall, ceiling, and floor of this chamber intertwining about one another in stunning alien colors. The entire chamber radiates a strong magic, and all characters who enter are, and are unfamiliar with the room must save her spells or make all rolls at minus two. Oh, hot damn. Which is totally not a thing. I'm just blindly reading text. <laughs> Adapt it on the fly, man. You're supposed Apparently to be a... you're in a ritual room of some sort. I I think that's probably a charisma thing. Uh oh. Ah, don't worry about that. This is just a fucked up room. Don't worry about my Yay! Face. Oh, Ben's gonna get somebody to stabbed. So here's the question: If they're alien colors, shouldn't we not be able to see them? Because our eyes wouldn't be able to perceive it because they're alien to what we'd normally be able to see. No, because aliens are green. Or they seem green. They might be a different color to people with more cones and rods and things. I'm just saying, I, I, if they're alien colors, we don't probably have the cones and rods to actually see those colors. Like, we can't see ultraviolet. We might see them, but see them wrong. Okay, that, that's reasonable. Just went up the stairs, by the way. No, we need to search for treasure. It's a ritual room. Maybe Ben can find a spell book or something down here. No, no, this is giant Nick Cthulhu. I'm done. Yeah, sure, I'll take a look around, I guess. Okay. Um... Ooh, I... Actually, I'm excellent at perceiving things. Okay, I changed the push to talk to... This plus a D4. 25 oh, plus a D4. So the, so the staircase going up, because I misread this room, I'm going to move the, the lock over to the staircase. 26. There's a uh, locked thing here-ish that does not allow you to go up the stairs. Because it's locked. Very well. And you're doomed! Doomed? Doomed, you say? I'll just cast the knock spell. Why did you draw a penis? A I penis with a, a vein. A, a lock. Sure. How about my 26 to perceive this room? 26 to perceive this room? You see the description I gave earlier. God damn it. I was looking for other things. <laughs> Make a perception check as you start to cast the knock spell. From 30 feet away. <laughs> yes. You got. What'd you get?
Fourteen. You hear a susurrus. A susurrus. Whispering. Next to you, and you probably. Uh, I think you need to be a little bit more over here to cast Nox Spell. Yeah, Nox probably doesn't have like a 90 foot range. Just gonna go out on that. Alright. He said 30 feet. Yeah, it's oh, got a 30 yeah. foot range. Oh, does it really? Even better. Oh. Well, shit, put yourself wherever you want to be. No, you have to be one more over, Ben. Where the shit did my monster man? 30 feet. There you go. Out of Happy? Not particularly, but okay. Actually, uh, Nock has a range of 60 feet. Fuck, even You better. realize that Ben's gonna get even further away. It's gonna be yeah. like, I could barely see the lock from here, you guys. Knock. <laughs> did it work? I can't I'm see the lock from here. Happy, ben. <laughs> Done. John, I don't care. What makes By you the way, happy? you you need to get um fuck how many? Twenty two temporary hit points. Oh, thank you. How do I do I just add those on top of my regular hit points? Yeah. So your bar will be longer than your thing. Wow. Alright. So Tinker, guess what? Another one of those creatures from before is about to eat your face. Yay! Is that what that thing oh, is? Oh, that's really good artwork for this. Can't tell what it is. It's an invisible man. In the rain. I think I still have invis on. You do, that's why you see him. Otherwise, it'd be, you'd just be getting hit and not know what's going on. You other people can't see this thing. Okay. So Tinker's going to have to describe how he got hit for a whole bunch of damage. <laughs> you didn't hit me. Well, shit. My armor class is whatever you roll plus one. You take ten points of damage. <laughs> I like that. Whatever you roll plus one. Ow, contact left. Invisible. Apparently, monster. he dropped his contacts. Everybody, take off your armor and help him search for his contacts. That's not how that works. Tinker, you lost And, uh, if, uh, do you have C invisibility on, Ben? You have to yes. make a concentration check for that? Yeah, nope. you I have no idea. A spell. You're casting a spell, it's gotta be like, come, like, something for that. Nope, duration just one hour. Nice. You'd oh, no, the C invis lasts. I'm talking his, uh, uh, knock. Oh, not I think class, it's I think instant, I minutes. think it just unlocks. It takes me two right, minutes to cast, because I don't have a... It's a, uh, it's a uh, what do you call it, ritual spell? Right, and he attacks you at the 9 minute and 30 second mark. What oh, nasty. really? <laughs> yes. Roll initiatives, please, if you have not already. Would you put that 22 in there for me? I didn't have myself selected. And so it begins. We kind of have to poop. All right. Oh, this is part. Don't Looks poop. like Terry. Um. Give me one second, I'm looking up to the smite, branding smite. I think it makes invisible creatures visible if I hit. Okay, are well, you gonna have to get some, some kind of aid as to where this thing is? You can't see it. And that's what you want, that's what you uh, want. Ben, when you, uh, can I just delay till you go and could you like throw some flour or something in it and then I'll try to make it visible for everyone else? Sure, I've actually got something now. Okay, Tinker. I'm gonna cast Flaming Sphere. What is all this? Well, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna put it there. Sorry, I'm using push to talk right now. Oh goodness, he's we're not gonna hear his potato chips crunching in our ears this time. <laughs> For now. Oh, you get lazy. Okay, I probably did that backwards. You need to make a deck save of uh, 15, no, 16 rather, and uh, whenever it com comes up. And then I'm going to say, hey, contact here, the enemy's right there, so the flames should congeal around him. And then I'm going to use my bonus action and cast uh, Misty Step to step back either 20 or 30 feet, however far it is. Okay. We'll figure that out. He's going to pass his save, and you need to, like, put damage in the deal also. I mean, you know. There, eight damage. <clears throat> Congratulations, he's mildly singed. Next. As my bonus action, I cast a uh, branding smite, and then I walk up to the edge of the fireball. Can I see his form, like the flame um, cusping around him, like Ben said? We're gonna say sure. Well, I'm going to make sure everyone else has a really good chance to hit him. Branding Smite makes invisible creatures visible, and then they glue for five foot around them. It also does 2d6 extra damage, so... Oh, yeah, Let's see happen. it happen. Hit! Nice! Also a hit. Grand so I got a total of 18... 26! 26. 26 damage, and it's visible. All of you can see this creature now. Hadrian! Oh. Quickly, leap into the fire and wrestle to the ground. Nah. I will... Just throw a produce flame at it. For now, since we can see it, that, he's that, throwing that. fire at a monster that's on fire. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I heard you, you like fire idea. with your fire. Boom! Yeah, Fifteen verse AC. Hit. All right, thirteen points of fire damage. And I will move down. Yep. One. Down to here. Famous. What the fuck, bro? Making fire out of nowhere, burning my t ponytail? Shit, son. Wow. I'm gonna stab Something. this bitch. Dude, I love how your entire character. character concept is different every game. <clears throat> uh, does a 12 hit this guy? Not quite. <laughs> Alright, well, never mind. Whiff. Alright, well he just needs to uh, fly up and over here, attack Tinker. Did he make a full withdrawal action? He did not. I attack him. Do I also get an attack of opportunity? You do. I cast Sacred Flame. I don't think uh, you do spells. No. Ah, 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 fuck you guys. Nope. I took you the feet. I took the feet. Oh. I've been saving it. Oh. I'm a war caster, bitches. <laughs> is, war, is that something war caster allows you to do? Yes, sir. What the fuck? Terry's attack will not hit. Samus's attack is a saving throw. A very small amount of damage. Let me work this attack damage up first on Tinker. What if it died? He's, he's no. My seven points of damage didn't minutes. kill it. No. So how did he know I was behind him when he couldn't see me and he was engaged with other people? He looked he around. He can smell you. Eyeballs. That too. 
He detects the lingering of your scent from casting the spell. And he's dead set upon stopping you from opening up the thing at all costs. It's like a video game mob, it just knows oh, where you are. This guy. 21 points <laughs> of damage. Maybe some of your friends should take Intimidate. Alright, let me roll a saving throw against your thing. Damn! He's going to pass. <laughs> Somebody better let me put my foot up I my foot. I sent my monsters to awesome Hi. today, you apparently. Save me? In like every day? Thomas! <laughs> they're using legit saves today. Oh, but... You saw the roll. How about legit <laughs> attack bonuses, too? Uh... 15 will hit. Alright, he takes 13 from getting firebolted in the back of the head. All the fire! All do the we fire. See, do we see the monster kind of shrug off any of the fire? Oh, uh, you don't think so. Okay. Ticker! <clears throat> He's going to pass his save on the flaming sphere. You have half? Yeah, you'll take half. Okay. Okay, there we go. So half from that, and then he gets the magic missile for the eight. Son of a bitch, that's a low roll. You have your one thing that recharges between short rests that lets you reroll damage rolls. Just saying. Don't forget your magic items. Terry! I'm going to do the amulet of murder then. Okay, well, let's resolve the amulet of murder. I should probably. Make sure I don't have any sort of magic item that would be helpful in this situation. Okay, so it'd be an extra right. three. Plus three. Nice. Uh, Terry! I'm just going to hit him normally. Cut. I love how it says amulet murder. Like, not regular murder, but it's amulet murder. <laughs> I think it probably don't get with hey, the second attack. 23? Unless I can flank with the fireball. No. The 14 hey, hits, though. What? The 14 hits. Oh, well, then I critted it for a total of 26. Do you have a, how do you have advantage? And the, oh, never Those mind. Those attacking yeah. from behind. More I, I, just I just do 23. Okay, I got it. Next, Hadrian. Oh, let's see. Throw another ball or mm. go up to it. I think I'll go up to it. So, that's about 30 feet of movement. I'm flanking with Ben. Uh, and I'm going to smack, or I'm going to hit it with my kit. Punch it in the face. Smack away. All right. Uh, awesome! So I crit it with the quarterstaff, with the hockey stick. Uh, Alright, so, so uh, apparently both of your strikes are going to knock all of, well, your one strike is going to knock its teeth out, uh, and it's going to fall over dead. Woo! I gotcha, buddy! Hey, thanks, bud. I owe you one. <laughs> Oops. Alright! Little buddy, get in there. Get in there. There you go. Once again, you may work on unlocking the doors. Okay, um, I'm gonna resume. I'll actually hey, tell you what. Hey guys, do you want to take a nap right now, or do you want to do this? We can take two thirds of a, or a third of a nap while you work on this lock. So that works. A third of a nap. Sweet. Sure, it takes him ten minutes, right? Yeah, but a uh, short rest is at least an hour. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I thought it was a half an hour.
It used to just be five minutes in fourth edition. That was the devil's edition. Ugh. And how? I take defensive position around um, Dinker to protect him from anything else that may come up and smack him during uh, our time. Of so you're going to after the danger. So you're going to straddle him? No. Near. Don't worry about it, man. Straddle near him? Eh, I've had worse. Defensive position doesn't mean straddle. Mm, sure it does. I what? think so. What? What? He's very defensive of his man. Oh, of his woman. Okay. Tinker's a female. Yes, it is. That's true. Is Tinker a mother? Maybe. Uh, no. I think it's got to be something like you're this, not right? Sure. I think your character would remember. Remember, if you pooped out well, of his parents, I don't think they remember. I'm just saying. See, oh, this right man. here is a defensive position, isn't it? Yeah, Here's yeah. Tinker, and this would be Dustin. Yes. No. I'm gonna go set up for some more therapy now. <laughs> How do you think I'm a dog standing over like? Style? That's how Superman <laughs> protected the one guy at super speed. What? Is Super Wang? <laughs> Something like that. You know what? This any sense. Weird. The, the door, one of the doors clicks. Well, I'm not touching it. Oh. Uh. Come on now, someone's got to touch okay, it. Okay, I tell you what, Zach. You do the, uh... Here, I'll do the play. You open it, Spur. I don't want to. Uh, Tom, Tom, say you're Terry. One of you guys has Mage Hand. Why don't we use Mage Hand to open it? Who has Mage Hand? Why don't you use a convenient yeah. series of pulleys and levers? I can do that with my rope powers. <sighs> there you go. See, you can do it with those rope powers. Well... Has wow, saved from the do door. Do we not have a rogue type? No. No. Uh, <laughs> the closest we get is is Terry, and his what level of bard? Two levels. Two levels of bard. I also have a high deck, so I am a good sneak. Is anyone else afraid of the the blackness that's forming around this door? <laughs> it's a huge no. door lock. Okay. Well. Wizard boldly steps like right here, and then stops I as the paladin goes door. forward. It doesn't hey, Zach, open. Did you, did you read the uh, whisper? Is there more than one lock? You notice that there appears to be more than one lock. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> there are in fact right, Zachary, seventeen read. more locks. Actually, there's just one more lock. But that would be fucking hilarious if there was seventeen locks. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll do it again. Alright. Dustin, you're going to take your pr protective stance over Ben again? I'm going to take my protective stance near Ben. So you're just going to thrust in the air? No! <laughs> you're going to go all the way in. All the way down. Alright. Tinker, high or low? Hi. Nice. Okay. The other lock clicks open, and now the doors are ever so slightly ajar. Wait, motherfucker, are the doors the doors or are the doors ajar? <laughs> I don't know what that even means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen before charging in there. Are you going to stay a while while you listen? And apparently because I'm all the way over here, I don't hear Dick. Oh, I well, think I don't, you do. I don't know how you can't hear anything over that Dick. <laughs> it's in his ear. I'll, I'll use the hook on my hockey stick. Is, is it a push or a pull door? Oh, let's say it's a pull? Okay, well, I'll no, use my hook of the stick, slide it in between the, the slight ajarness, and pull. And all open right. the door. Well, you open the door. Oh, I forgot I had cantrips. None of them would have helped, but I have them.
<laughs> Thanks, Chris. We defeated a door. You oh. valiantly fought a door. You gotta be and careful. What? Doors hold brain maggots. That's and true. there could be more doors behind that door. You don't know. There might be a lot of doors. All We're the brain maggots. It's only doors. Every brain maggot. Keep in mind, like, oh, one of the scariest Dungeons and Dragons online adventures right now is a series of doors. Uh, hey guys, what? I just realized as a bard I have mage hands. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, wow. there's a bunch of nothing. Like, we, we cross into the void when we walk through this door. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I think this is... I walked into an ex... Yeah, I meant, I meant to... I meant to do all this, but, you know, I got busy, and... I found Area 18. <laughs> Is this it right here? <laughs> I went walking. Whoops. <laughs> Running through the void, you guys. Running through the void, the oh. deer can't stop us. I'm gonna go get a drink too. and go to the bathroom real fast. I found these guys. Oh, okay. That's where that goes. The stairs lead to... How the hell does that work? Your pain. I love her too, but... Alright, the geometry in this place does not make sense. There is no back to her love. It's a D&D Yeah, it's right here. These it stairs never made sense. lead back upstairs to that little shed you were in earlier, which is exactly where the other things went, I think? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. But then when I was going to lay on the couch and take its snuggles, she right, was nowhere to be found. I think the only person who's not over here in this area is Ben. I'm over right here. Hey ben. He's there. Oh, there he is. Uh -huh. We are officially grouped up. It's like a group on. <laughs> it's like an orgy. Except Grab with more like pants. Okay, we're roughly in the middle left. But what about room 18? It's not connected that way. What? I... Then we just come back up a different staircase to the building? Okay, that's uh, what I can't so see. Are we in the I little return. warehouse? Is that where we're... Yeah. It's a greenhouse. It's a greenhouse. You only say that because it looks like it's got plants in it. No, because no, he last described time it as a. These are all like oranges and shit. It's a greenhouse. Yeah, he established it as a greenhouse earlier. Yep, yeah, it's a greenhouse. Oh, uh, uh, I love you. I want you to come down. Let's well, snuggle later. That was useless. No, it wasn't. We got a ton of treasure. I guess that was just the exit that put us in the exact same place. Cool. I forget where we haven't been yet. Uh, these, the spiral staircase. Which is actually, I think it's an up and down, and that going down is the actual down you went before, I don't know, is this... Oh, the description is kind of jacked up. Now we went down this secret door over here, right? B? Maybe that was No, it. we need to still go down the secret door um, in the library. Let's do that real quick. Well, let's go down B. The secret of B. A secret of B. And we already disarmed the trap in here, so... Damn. Oh, that took you to area 11. That's where you went down before. Okay, so we did go down there. You did go down, so this, this other stairs must be up. Okay. No, we haven't been down in B. We decided yeah, we'd come back later. 
Ah, shit. Where well, that's how go? you got to the cellar. Wait, uh, it's it's whatever. So we went in backwards, so... What? <laughs> yes, you went in backwards. We went in, we went in the outhole, you guys. It's fine. Well, it did happen. Nobody complained. That's whatever. Okay, well, we go upstairs then. We go wherever we haven't been. Oh, hey, it's Mug Roots and Beer. <gasps> User entered your channel. Yay! iOS client. Yeah, I don't think that's the right person. Do, 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 and whoever it is, do, it's do, mute. Do, do, do. It's probably probably witty trying to figure out how to do it, and it's mute. It is probably witty. Witty, if it's you, light up your mic and Morse code. Fuck. God damn it, it's witty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. We, we can't hear you, bud. Well, we could communicate via Morse code, but it's going to take <laughs> us a while. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh. I took Braille. Like that. Alright, so we go up the stairs then. Yeah, hold on. This, this floor two got jacked up. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Oof. Yep. Yep. There you are. You know what, let's try something crazy. Don't say. I'm always down for crazy. I'm not gonna make any comments in the off chance that your girlfriend's <sighs> in the room. However, I want you to know that I thought it. And what's even funnier is you thought it too. What are we thinking about? How Dustin's got a thing for crazy. Oh, uh, well, yeah, duh. Sorry, the tool is a little quirky sometimes. This floor died. That's fine, we can just continue taking pot shots at Dustin. We could just go up, we could be like, this floor isn't loading, let's just go to floor three then, because apparently this place has six fucking floors. Yay! Unless, for some odd reason, they have to be done in a set, certain order. I don't know. Hey, let's be jackasses and just go all the way up to the sixth floor and then work our way down instead. Let's shake it up. <laughs> you are fucking assholes. Hey. The best. No, I, I mean that seriously, like, there's no reason why we wouldn't just have to start at 6 and go down. I mean, let's think outside the box. How you liked being in the box? No, by definition of his, his, uh... Man box? Who he is, it's... 
I got nothing. Yeah, we know. We're sad for you. Don't be. <laughs> you guys can start working on exploring and stuff now. Are we? Are we here? We're here. Because my map it? hasn't yeah. changed. I'm oh, sorry, I'm yep. looking at gay porn. Oh, come back. Are we supposed to be in room one? <laughs> We're still on the first floor. Oh, room no, we're, 19. We're 19, yeah. Well, we, can, we can check out room 19, but we couldn't look at room 18? Nope. Hey, look, a hallway. Hallway. Hey, look, a douchebag. So is anyone going to tell Witty we can hear him this whole time or just ignoring him? Because <laughs> that would be in untrue. But hilarious. Hey, all right. He's typing something now. Oh, good yeah. chance. Oh, TS3 is wonky on his iPad. Can we get some description on room 19? Yes, we can. 19. Hall. The floor is richly carpeted and tapestries of expert manufacture hang on the walls. Uh, the large chamber is similar to the area below it. Uh, it is well furnished of sofas, chairs, and tables. Oh yay. Uh, you heard him guys, free tapestries. Do the tapestries look to be of excellent quality? They do. Such that we can sell them for profit somewhere. Probably. Uh, should we loot the man's house? The fucker <laughs> tricked us into resurrecting him from the dead. Screw that bastard. So, probably. Alright. So also, is you want to put Witty with the rest of the party? Uh, the boy said yep. So, uh, we take the tapestries and stuff, stuff them in a bag. Holding. Damn. Which you don't Next. have. You don't have a bag of holding? No. Who didn't buy a bag of holding? All of you guys. Your mom. Done. Not necessary. Who you established that someone has probably fucked? Yes. Well, hang on a it second. Unnecessary? It was unnecessary. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. That's okay. I still love you. I mean, it's not my fault you're a little bitch who gets offended easily, but... <laughs> That's right. Uh... Zach, summon your pony. I didn't take that spell. And then we'll load up your pony with the tapestries and then you can unsummon it. Your paladin yeah, pony. Well, that's also not how that works. Phantom steed a. Uh... That's how it used to work. But that was a stupid way of it working. Hmm. That's fine. Just put it on Ben's fucking disc. Make Ben walk. Put, load up Ben's disc with tapestries. I mean, there I we go. A, I can put up a tensor floating disc if you want to wait a minute. God forbid you just come back with this shit when you're done. You okay. know we're gonna have to run. This place will fucking explode or something. We'll have five <laughs> seconds. We want time to loot this stuff. We're on to you. But it'll look Great. epic while we're ta while we're escaping the exploding base station or, or collapsing <laughs> castle or exploding insert, whatever. Insert old video game trope here. Let's be fair, tapestries aren't actually that big or heavy. You roll them up 
Or they can be. Them. They can be big and heavy. We can I doubt these heavy. are like those types of tapestries. If no, they're totally that kind of tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did. Alright, you guys have to behave now. My wife's in the room. Nah. Cock hey, balls. Brandy. Zach says hi. He says hi. Hello. Quickly installed his mother. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't care insult if we my mother. insult his Aww. mother. He won't even care if we insult his mother. He will probably also help. Well, that's fine. Good for him. I feel like we should go give him a hug now. God, I don't want to drive all the way there. Hold on, I'm gonna drive over there and give him a hug real quick. Can I just mail him a hug? Yes. Well, knowing you would probably get there faster. How did the Modern Masters thing go? We didn't have one yet. You didn't have one yet? No. Nah. Oh, okay. But you said you were waiting on a couple more people to kick it off, and you guys were gonna draft Modern Masters. No, we're drafting Brian or just uh, Theris block. Uh, the Garobo family took first, second, and third at Theris block draft. Really? Good job. Does, does, wow. does that does that does that count as running a monopoly? Is like your family is consistently in the top five? Nay. Like nobody has, like, basically your family just dominates the competition. Uh, we I think try. The only ones there. No, we had twelve, I think, twelve or twelve or fourteen. It was a pretty reasonable draft. We won twelve packs, and I threw one to the fourth, fourth place player as a pity pack. Pity pack. He was all sad face. All sad face. He was like, "There's no way fourth is gonna get a pack." I was like, "Yeah, there will be." Gave one of ours. Any luck? Is that his iPad? It's not working very well. Sounds like more so the uh, um, King Speaks not working all that great. And I've given all the description there is for Area 19. Well, then I go back up to the hallway. Do we get everything oh, looted? Are they are they done trying to pull tapestries off the wall? I we did. We to pull pulled the tapestries, tapestries off the wall. wall and we shoved them in our bags. I go oh, in okay. room 21. All right, room 21. You see a... actually this room is locked. You open the door. It okay. is locked. I use my boot and I break it open. You hurt your foot trying. Ah uh, yeah, shit, I forgot this place is all reinforced and junk. Alright, ten minutes later, you Damn. cast Doc. <laughs> Who didn't play us a rogue type? Which one of you fuckers? <laughs> Isn't that your job? I thought the whole point was we were all gonna play characters that were like outside of our our like wheelhouses and shit. I played a cleric. I know, you're playing outside your wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm playing a wizard. I mean shit. Who's apparently functioning as a rogue right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else is new? Alright. The door is no longer locked. And what is inside the door? Inside, the, well, the door is wood. Inside the room, however, <laughs> uh, a small bed, dresser, chest, nightstand. The room is pretty bare. Looks like it could be maybe like a guest quarters or something. Looks kind of like a dorm room. Uh, perception check inside to see if I notice anything out of the ordinary. Nope. I'll do intelligence research. You notice that 
uh, in the various drawers are only winter clothing. Huh. You know what? I donned some of the winter clothing just in case. What you are now this? entirely too hot. I'll shrug it off. We're in the middle of summer, I think. In the middle of summer, it's May. Alright, I'll keep some in my pack in case. Um, May's not the middle of summer, that's probably like the beginning well, of summer. Well, it's really fucking whatever. You know what? It's summer. You know what? Last week it snowed and it's May, so I don't even know what's happening now. <laughs> it's because you live uh, in Brett, imaginary no place land. I live in the most terrible place that ever existed. Okay, open up E. Slash D. It looks like they uh, share a door. 20 E. Alright, let's see. One of my favorite parts about Sunday nights is how uh, how irritated Zach sounds when he's when he's waiting for people to open doors. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another dorm room. Uh, this room also has a big ass wooden chest. Otherwise it's very similar to room uh, 21 except this room appears to be has a little bit of uh, decoration to it. Make a perception check. Uh, it's probably ooh, a ladies room. Because I'm good at perceptions. <laughs> Tinker, you have no what? idea what a ladies room looks like, so you don't know. <laughs> what? I got an 18. Also, I'm excellent with the ladies. I've been in many other bedrooms. And how? Apparently our dwarf can't do anything also. Uh, he's set to be able to move <laughs> himself. He should be okay. So apparently they're, up near you guys. Apparently their tablet software... He's not iPad because he's not at home. He is in fact up north, in the northern regions of California, the Bay Area, I think. We should just have a conversation all about Witty that's just totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, unfactual. Oh, the wife says he has sex with sheep. I heard that's true. I guess it's all I can kind of move them around. That's what I hear. No, I, I, she's talking about oh. the wrong Chris. We all know who the sheep fucker here is. Here, you want to give me his token and I'll drive him around? Sure. Or you can give him to somebody else and they can drive him around. You know what? We're going to do something crazy. I don't know, John. Your uh, paint on the mug is it's coming off. Like a lot. What? Yeah, painted mug you got me. Right. Like most of the name is already worn off. Oh. oh. Is anybody else having that issue? Not yet. Okay. I guess it just means I'm using it a lot. Because I owe no cups. Are you using it quite a bit? Yeah. Wait, try to move him. Uh, can we all move him? Is that what's going on? <laughs> yes! We'll just pass him around. Oh no! This Please. is too funny. Please. It looks like oh, there, in the, if you go to the Apple store, there's specifically a app for the rolled each 20. Perhaps that'll help. Apparently he's out. I found a yellow smudge and B. Okay, well you're not there yet because you're all at E doing stuff. How many locked doors was that? <laughs> Seventy locked doors. All right. We're searching each B e and D. I think sort of connected. We search them both. Okay. Thoroughly. Actually, there's also a Google Play one. I should get my tablet, and then. Then I nobody can control their characters. Then I could theoretically poop. 
while pooping. I could play this while pooping. I started investigating the room. Alright, so you got what I said before. Also, there appears to be a, a large wooden chest inside the room, in addition to the other little just knickknacks. As you search around, you find uh, some various uh, accoutrements. You find, you know, lipsticks, makeups, tampons, you know, things that might exist in a woman's universe. I put the wizard in front of the thing and we give him 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the lock clicks with a resounding thud. I didn't use mage hand to open it. Alright, as you open the door or the lock Where did it go? Wonder if I lost it. I think I lost it. No oh god. We're screwed. Most likely. Oh, I must have cut instead of paste or copy the other day. Well, I would have had it prepped, so let's find it real quick again. <sighs> you see a very small creature inside the chest. Oh, and damn. since you did not speak the command word, the creature suddenly grows to full size. The red scourge is here. The red scourge is here. It's got to be the command word. Sadly, that was not the command word. Over a ten. Uh, yeah, over a ten. Time to roll initiative then. Oh yeah, yeah nine. Ha ha! Terry, apparently being small for forever, has made this monster rather sluggish. <laughs> so, is it a chained up demon thing? It looks a lot like the, uh, those of you, Samus and Hadrian, you recognize this thing from last time. What? Is that Cambrian? Or, uh, Kachin? Chain Demon? Oh god, this is a chitin. Well then. No one must have thought I was as funny. I'm going to bonus action cast Divine Favor, and I'm going to use my second level smite, because fuck demons. Okay. Why in the hell are you all the way up to B? Actually, this is a devil. Because I can be. Whatever. He started describing the monster, so I left. It's an important distinction, you guys. That will hit. That will not hit. Unless, did you declare Aphrodite, or no? I had to say that last time. Alright. So just the one hit. Does that make you a one hit wonder? Yeah. <laughs> I also have smited it, so I do a total of 22. Most nice. of that is radiant. So if holy if radiant damage does extra to demons or devils it's or whatever. It's very badly burned. Oh shit, I rolled the next highest number? Yes. This is not good. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, by the way... 
You need to make save us a wisdom save. And Terry, you need to fix your thing if you can. If not, I'll fix it for you. Apparently, I failed oh, okay. to succeed. Add four to that. Which will still fail. Doesn't matter. It's on. I don't see why it's not projecting on here. All right. Sorry, I didn't realize it was my turn. Uh, I don't know. Either. It appears my aura has died for some reason. No. Oh. Also, I can't see any of the grid either. Did you accidentally? Oh, turn I know off why. The grid. No, I think I know why. I think I fucked up. Probably. Well, that much is clear. I think I screwed up, and this entire map is actually an object. Okay, it's fine. We'll deal. That's right, you just right click on the object and click send to. Uh, uh, it send didn't to, let his uh, 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 thing come up. Oh, here we go. Alright, so here I cast a second uh -huh. level guiding bolt spell for a 17 to hit this Oops. ass clown for 17 points of rad damage. And the next person gets the advantage. Oh, isn't that rad? Nice. By the way, you're frightened this turn until your next turn. Oh, I'm so scared. A step up here is. Did you say he was frightened? Samus is frightened. And you need to make a wisdom save. What? Okay, let me over here. Where do I make wisdom? At? As its face looks like a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All the dicks. You are frightened. Whatever, whatever. That is. Whatever. This I'm means stand. you can't move closer to it. You have what disadvantage on attack rolls? I'm gonna send the bird over here. It's gonna cast protection from evil. The bird on... needs to make a save. Damn it! What what the hell is it saving throw? I don't know. Oh, wizard! Probably be yours. I would assume. Okay. I I guess it's that. I I don't know. Well, everybody will be happy to know that I've been selling the entire party short this whole. Oh, yay! Did you roll nine on your save? I guess. Okay, yeah, the bird cannot proceed closer if that's what Frightened does. And you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls against it. Well, fuck him then. I'm gonna cast Magic Missile on. Okay. Actually, how close is it? No, don't do that. There. Big 10 points hey. of fuck you damage. Hadrian! Uh, I move 30 feet down here to see, because I'm seeing all the magic and spells and stuff fly back and forth. Walk in, I see the chitin. I'm assuming I am affected by it by the second I see it. Wisdom save! Remember how you realized that you did that wrong last time and it's once? Well, you know what? I decided he's awesomer now. Okay. You oh, are yeah. a fear to did. Okay. Oh, well. Um. Mm -hmm. He has legendary reactions. <laughs> what? Um. Oh, shit. I will just. I'm going what to is it that you were afraid thorn whip. Of? Going to thorn whip him, trying to pull him closer to us. All right, so I'm sure a 13 doesn't hit though. Does not hit. Okay. Thomas. I'm um, gonna use my I'm... last five feet to move back out of his view. Where did you get to? Oh, does somebody want to uh, roll McAo? Or is he leaving? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, 
Well, it's up to him. I was Sam I'd say, uh, you know, do what you need to do. Uh, we can't even get into his character sheet to do anything. Really? Did you? That sucks. Did you try uh, try downloading that app yet, Witty? Uh, I think he said he has the app. I thought he said he was just trying to use the web browser. Did I try reading? <laughs> oh, snap. I've what if you, been doing so other if things. If you point a pad at the site, you can also do stuff. Give that a shot. If that doesn't work, then I guess make whichever decision you need to if you, know, you can't get into anything. I think he's already tried both avenues and both avenues failed. Did he? I, did, I guess I didn't see where he tried the browser. Okay. Oh, hey, it's alright, man. All right, we can, well, like, move your guy around and stuff. People can control your guy and, like, work you through stuff. I mean, we can do that. You mean, he can't access his character sheet. He's not going to be... Well, we can access his character sheet. I need stuff kind of similar. Access, yeah. Actually, here. I set him up so that you guys should be able to also. Oh, let me see here. Let me see if I can pull up his character sheet. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, and then he just then he just has to fire up Twitch and he'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> and he can so, see his character sheet on. Oh Ryan. nope, I got him. Are we ready? Yeah, I mean if that's okay, we can do it that way. If he's alright with that. I mean, you just have to, I guess, type to the guys to get you to do stuff. And and he says he okay. He'll give it a shot, so... Alrighty. Cool. Alright, uh, am I afraid? Can I see him? Do you I need to, to make... Uh, did we skip Mikhail? What the fuck? D he didn't... He didn't have a, an initiative order. I oh, moved him to... Now, I moved him to 10. Alright, okay. bam, he's at 10. Fuck you guys. Let's see. We Mikhail, should do what Witty would do. First. What? Who the fuck keeps going to his goddamn inventory? Stop riding dicks all over his inventory. Guiding Bolt did it, please. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even the one putting the bag of dicks in the sheets this time. It's all you fuckers. <laughs> like what level Guiding Bolt do you want to cast, Wait, Do you want to cast a level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4? Four. 4! God damn it! Somebody stop going to the, to the inventory while I'm trying to use maths. <laughs> Why? People are dicks, yo. Why do I get to feel like I need to slightly restrict who can touch his stuff? Alright, forget it. I'm just going to choose for you level one. Uh, that will not hit. Also, uh, he needs to make a wisdom save. A wisdom save. I think I can click on him and use my thingy. Yeah, we have the same pass. wisdom too, so. Okay, Thomas, now it is your turn. Alright, from where I'm standing, am I afraid? You, if you didn't already make a wisdom save, you need to. Okay. As his face looks like socialism, you I'm pass, pretty sure I passed. Okay. Why would his face? What? His face becomes the thing you're most afraid of. Okay, I don't understand that, but I'm trying to guess your worst comment. fears, you guys. Well, um, he gets. I assume with 23 hits. 23 hits. He gets 13 damage of ray of frost. Uh, he shrugs off some of the ray of frost. All right. Wait, his turn. You said he shrugs off some of it. Some of it, yes. Match. All right. He's gonna flail chains about everywhere. What is his deal? 
All right, a Terry, a chain. Hit. At Sam is a chain. Oh, I mean hit. the shenanigans. At uh, Miguel a chain. Not a hit. And at uh, the next person, uh, Thomas, a chain and a hit. So. What? <laughs> Why? Did he? He has so many other targets. <laughs> <laughs> Two other targets. All right. So. All right. Uh, Perry. Ten points of damage. Eight points of damage to Samus. Thirteen points of damage to Thomas. And how much? Thirteen. That's not terrible. Got and it. all you guys that got hit by chains are now grappled. And restrained, and right? Restrained, right. It doesn't matter. They don't actually do anything. Except your movement Creature speed is reduced restrained. to zero. And restrain gives us like disadvantage, I think, on attack rolls. Something? I oh, know. Look it up. Well, it's Terry. I didn't think so. And at the beginning of Terry's turn, he takes seven points of damage from the chain. Yes, attack rolls against the creature have an advantage. Um, the creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. All right, Done. so, Terry. Sorry, I was attacking stuff. Um, I'm going to smite it with my what, uh, last level of first level smite. And as my bonus action, I'm going to... Let's see, who's is any of you guys going to go over here and whack it, or are you got any of you guys going to make an attack roll? Uh, if I pass my save. Well, I'm going to whack it, maybe. Okay, well, Dustin spoke. Dustin, you see, uh, you see me glistening in the chains, and it inspires you. Oh, okay. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't help but think of that. I love, show. I love being inspired by a man in chains. So I have disadvantage to hit him. Yes. So that will not... neither one of those will hit. Damn. Well, there goes the smite then. Actually, no, it stays on until I hit, is what I read it does. So. Okay. Samus! Alright, I'm going to... command, command this At the beginning of your turn, again. seven points of damage. Ooh. Kamehameha. Also, you are restrained. Yeah, I don't give a shit. For this much. Uh, hit. 15 points of rad damage. Tinker. Alright. Let's uh, just do it again. And kill. Whoops. Right in the face. Eleven. Eleven points right in the face. All right, now I'm out of second level spells. Hadrian. Okay. Come in. Bam. I have enough movement to come in and walk up behind him. All right. This is a spike chain master. You've triggered eighty attacks of opportunity. No. Sorry, this is in third edition. Okay. Hey. Uh, and now I will now kick the shit out of him with magic weapons. Poof, poof. God, fuck. Seriously. All right. Nineteen versus AC. Uh, nineteen will hit. Okay. And then a twenty-eight, which is an at twenty. Will also so, hit. Um, all together, that's eighteen. Twenty points of magical bludgeoning damage. It's just on the next attack. Wait, no, no, you're I'm not flanking. Oh, you're flanking. Never mind. I'm flanking with Terry. 
that's why I have advantage. Fuck it, you guys! Well, you got uh, one. didn't do that, like, last time. He was too busy being unconscious. Because I couldn't hit for shit last time. <laughs> you got your ass rocked last time. Dude. Okay, okay, I have a quick and legitimate question. Yes. Uh-oh. So, the thing, were the chains the thing sh attacked us with, were those body? Like, were those attached to it? Uh, they, in this case, they were. Okay, so a spell that was a touch spell, I wouldn't have actually had to roll because he was already actively touching me with a part of his body. Depends what it was. It's not necessarily a part of his body, it's more like a weapon. So if he casts heat metal, he'd eventually have to let it go. So, is there any treasure in the chest that this figure was in? Okay. Somebody fix uh, Mikhail's hit points while I read the adventure. Alright. This chest contains several changes of clothing, several pairs of shoes. Mikhail, is it your max or your current hit points that should be up? Just oh. click on this figure and put in plus 22. We did. It's done. He's fixed. Okay. Okay. I fixed it. Good job. I'm a master doing what he said when I see that he taught the stuff. Alright. There's four pouches. Each of which contains 25 gold. Correction. Hold the... Oh my god. There's four pouches each of which contains 25 pieces of quartz. Each of those are worth 10 gold. Alright, hold on, that was... Okay, Four pouches. Pouch. 25 quartz. Times So it's four. 250 gold per pouch. Yes. And, okay, so 200, so that's I apologize gold. for the dog going off. Got it. Tawny okay. put her water bottle down, or Pepsi bottle apple? down a little tough, I guess. Hard well, enough that it popped a little off the face. Is this magical. Yep. Did I ritually cast it? Oh, yeah. I'm Let me read the rest of the description real quick. Alright, so, uh, two blankets. One cup. A gold, gem studded gold yeah, necklace. Worth 6,650 gold. Nice. A Jeez. bejeweled dagger made of silver, uh, which is worth 1,100 gold. Uh, three plain caps? What the fuck is that supposed to be? Uh, and a case of writing tools. Wait a minute, she just had three normal cats in there too with the demon? I don't know what the f where the demon was the cat. Apparently, where she stores company? her like most valuable pogs or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm cats are, this shit. You say caps or cats? C A P S. Uh, oh. They're just like three hats. Okay. I thought he was talking. I thought he said cats, like C A T S. <laughs> yeah, there's like three, three dead dead cats and three kittens in there, and I'm like, they're all things fucking lunch. Leave it alone. Oh, goodness. Alright, some of the stuff glows. Uh, one of the... Uh, a pair of slippers glows. Okay, and well... one of the blankets glows. Well, so we take that stuff and leave the rest of that nonsense. You know what? Let's just take the ten minutes and identify it, Tinker. You take one item, I'll take the other. Okay. Because... I forgot I'm totally a wizard now. And I yes. detect magic and everything. <laughs> Do you have an ox spell? No. <laughs> okay. The slippers are slippers of varied tracks. Oh, they're actually boots, not slippers. Okay. 
Okay. And the blanket. Blanket of protection against evil. <laughs> blanket of anti boogeyman field. Blanket of warmth. <clears throat> and what does a blanket of warmth do? Um, you cuddle up in it and it starts on fire and you burn to death. <laughs> Rules as written. We're gonna say it's one of those, uh, like, uh, what, what's the thing that's like the... The minus 40 plus a whole bunch. The spell. Endure elements. Yeah, endure elements. We're like gonna say it's version. like that. Okay. Okay. And save. Okay, what's in D then? Thank you for writing down all the treasure, Dan. Yep. I don't know, I texted him. D. Uh, this chest has, this room is similar to the others. It has a bunch of socks and uh, jock straps and things all over the place. What in Jock straps hell? all over the place? All over the place. Pizza boxes. Like, I am a male, and I don't have jock straps all over the place. God damn it, I don't know. Just okay, you have to reload the thing. The actual description of these rooms are terrible. Okay, let's just search it. I have detect magic on. Okay, there is also a uh, big old chest in here as well. Okay, Tinker, you knock it, I'll open it. Okay. Whoa, whoa, don't knock it till you try it. You should actually probably <laughs> enter the room, Ben. Because I don't well, think you can see my it through the room. I had to fucking unload it. Okay. Where are we here? Where, where is this magical chest at? D. D? Okay. Uh, yep, there we go. Hold up. There we go, that's better. Alright, I'll cast Knock from here. Uh, uh, uh. You hear a click as the lock is no longer locked. I use Mage Hand to open it and then prepare for the demon. Alright, a needle springs forth, conveniently not murdering you if a save versus poison or die. And you see a bundle of snakes hissing at you from the chest. Huh. Maybe we should close Isn't it. Is it an illusion, Ben? Well, fuck, I'll take ten minutes to catch a tech illusion. <laughs> uh. Hey, actual spell. Yes, it is. Are you making some shit up? I have a second level spell here, Detect Illusion. Okay, cast your Detect Illusion. Okay, ten minutes later. Many years later, <laughs> it is in fact an illusion. Yep, it's an illusion. What's really in there? <laughs> All right. No, you guys. Inside the chest are eight ingots of platinum worth 60 gold each. Hold on, I have to get my little thing open here. Okay, right, let me know when you're ready for descriptions of stuff again. Can I just take one moment to say something about this adventure? If these are supposed to be college students, what are they doing with this much gold? Trust funds. 
I guess. Jesus Christ, we've never gone this much money till this adventure. Uh, they're just gold. pouring it on us. Dixie like, I don't gold. even know what I'm going to do with all this gold. Ivy Leaguers, man. Ivy Leaguers. Six zero gold for ingot. Correct. Okay. A gold bracelet worth 250 gold. <laughs> they sell drugs. Probably. A uh, bunch of clothing, leather boots, uh... A scroll of mass invisibility. Okay. A wand of enemy detection with no charges. Because they suck. Well, in this version of the game, won't it recharge? You can if it, do if there's either charges recharging broken. or the 30 to 50 charges. Hey, didn't it's Brian broken. have a... Oh, well, I won't even write it down then. Uh, also... Uh... On the nightstand, every single object glows. There are various, right. uh... Brass chains, a rubber ball, scraps of paper, some dried flowers... Bunch of marbles, some old quills. Somebody cast his magic aura on them, didn't they? Much time can be wasted searching through this mess. I look at the brass chains. I identify them. They are nothing. Okay, I threw them in the pile, and then I guess me, Tinker, and Jonathan, are you useful in how the identify spell? I'm not. <laughs> so the oh, no. uh, the useful party members who happens to also be the paladin who's everything else in this adventure identifies <laughs> it. Way to be a bard. Now you know what it's like to be a bard. Hey bard, do the traps. Hey bard, open the door. Hey bard, take the monster. <laughs> hey bard, give us some buffs. I don't think anyone's ever said bard gives us some buffs. Uh, bard songs. They just shout it for bard songs all the fucking time. Uh, I can never look at Zach's character because of that stupid blurry video again. Furry video, rather. You want him to give you all the buffs. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Uh, I think you do. <laughs> That's pretty much what's in here. Save changes. I enter room C. Alright. Uh, this quarter's uh, neatly arranged. Uh, very nice silken bed linens. Uh, rather nice chest. And otherwise, just various knickknacks, uh, very neatly organized. Like this, like maybe this guy, like his major is like engineering or something. <laughs> or okay, he's fabulous. You then do the same dance. He knocks. I mage hand. Thing opens. What do you say, Samus? Uh, obviously, the guy that's in this room is fabulous. Maybe. That uh, about see. being clean and neat is not true. <laughs> oh that yeah. That is a stereotype that is found in fiction. This guy just happens to be clean and Oops. neat. Oops, wrong T, sorry. All right, everybody, including Tinker, has to be in line of sight of the chest. All you people. A cloud bursts forth from the chest. I need to make constitution saves. Nope. <laughs> Every bay in my aura, remember you Wall. have plus four. Wall of wind. I'm a war Reaction? wizard. I'm a war wizard. It attack of opportunity to me. That's not an attack of opportunity. <laughs> God damn it, I'm gonna have to look up the spell. I don't think it was a reaction spell. Windwall? No. Oh, Fuck. where's the failure? Ouch. At four. 
I know it won't help, but still add it. I did. <laughs> Terry, is that your save? Alright, well mine were pretty good. Wheaties were not so much. Yeah, that seems odd. I should have that minimum, I think, higher than that. I guess Did I just you? failed. Okay, so those those fourteens fail. What's going on? So We're about to die. Mikhail and oddly the dwarf. And uh not Well did they get a bonus maybe. against poison? Uh, they would take half damage and get advantage versus poison, I think. Okay, well he still If it failed. is poison. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to step away for just a moment. What's what's going on? They opened the chest and a trap of chlorine gas or something exploded on them. Yes. Hey, if I cast an ox spell, I'll like, way the hell away from it. You had to be close enough, and who said it's connected directly to the chest? 31 points of damage to those who fail their save. And you said you think the dwarves take half damage from that? Uh, if it's poison. It's poison. If, if, um, do you have to be a... a I'm immune to poison. Dwarf. You're immune to the poison status, not poison damage. Okay. Would you like to know if it's bludgeoning, uh, slashing, or piercing damage? <laughs> <laughs> in his lungs. He might have DR there, you don't know. Uh -oh. Unless he put armor in his lungs, which he did not do. Uh, okay, you have advantage on saving throws against poison, and you have resistance against poison damage. Okay, so he takes 15, then. Being a derf. We'll knock off of one because I'm, of the I'm armor I'm way back here. Lungs. Do I have to make my save? No. Okay. Yeah, I was making sure. Well, I'm like, okay, <laughs> well... <laughs> No, wind wall is one action. <laughs> you know, let's Franz had that room air out, things. and let's go up to the next room and trigger that trap. All right. Um. B. Okay. Can my next question rest is: any, ever? Can I pass through here without <laughs> causing the shit to explode on me? Sit there. There is still uh, the cloud in there. It'll go away eventually, but at the moment it's still there. Okay, well, I'm gonna just... leave the cloud, not stand in it. Can I hold go, my go, and... go up to where I'm at, then. Let's say your character ran with me. Okay, let's let's search room B. What does room B look like? Um... And then we'll open up the treasure chest. Your mom will open the treasure chest. We all fucked your mother. Hmm? Wow. I just thought that was really awkward because I thought he was talking to Ben. Kinda. <laughs> no, I like, was like, that's, that's, all so, weird. that's all sorts of no in my mind right now. <laughs> Fifty shades of no. I don't know if I can even read the rest of this adventure now. Um. Well, I think I'm done, and you guys <laughs> can, uh... Continue to do whatever this is. Did another locker right. chest. There's various papers on the desk, scattered loosely. There's, there's no, um... There is a chest, there's also uh, a locked drawer in her desk, or in this person's desk as well. Okay, we'll knock the, the uh, drawer open. With the all mage hand it open. Okay. Uh, a Damn needle pops back. out. And you open up the drawer. Uh, inside the drawer are a few scattered coins of little value. Two gold, eight electrum, and three copper. Any, like, scrolls or anything glowing? Not in the drawer. Okay, we rinse and repeat on the chest. 
Alright, so you hear a click from the chest. I mage hand it open and hold mage my breath. Open the chest. You are just barely far enough away. A gout of flame <laughs> bursts forth from the chest. I think we're seeing what each of their like specialties are as wizards. Like one is so. an illusionist, yeah. one's a conjurer, one's an evoker. Can, can we all also make the observation that a fucking college student was able to summon and bend to his will a chitin? A fucking it, chain it's devil? A senior it's a sen senior project. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe this is grad school. Shit, he started yeah, yeah. off at 18th level. <laughs> maybe it's not that hard to do now in 5th edition. Maybe you just like make a circle, make a pentagram inside the circle, and you throw like a chicken in there and say, <laughs> Dinner time! And you just show up. And the first demon that crawls up from the abyss is yours? Exactly. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> They're rather like Pokemon. I mean, Anyways, did you try it? Alright. Inside the box, uh, a bunch of more notes, um, and underneath the notes, there may be some objects you can't tell. You have to move the notes. Well, I'm going to try to read the notes, the notes from here. What do they from say? From there? Like, I look in. You're pretty close. And the notes do indeed say, <laughs> I've repaired explosive rooms today. <laughs> I like how he says he reads the notes and instantly everyone just left that room. No! <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I took Witty with me. <laughs> I like, I like how in, in Ben's haste, he he went back into the cloud of flying. <laughs> oh, is that cloud still there? <laughs> That's fine. I, I need a reflex save of twenty-two. Right. Do I take uh, half, half damage? So ten damage. Also, after this, I get pissed off and heal myself for thirty. Also, as I see the fire coming, I give him the thing where he takes half damage from fire. Oh, wait a minute, I already have the thing where I take half damage from fire because I have my magical gay-ass cape. Well, then, never mind. I don't do that. Uh, okay, it'll take five points of damage. Nice. Even though the module says 1d4 plus 11, which is not very much at this level. Either. Um. Okay, I mage hand the papers away. Well, the papers are gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> And there's now 5,000 gold piece worth of diamond dust. Cool! And a melted amethyst. Is I it send, magical amethyst? I, oh, I send Witty to make sure you're okay. Seems like something Witty would be brave and do. <laughs> there's various other damaged objects that are broken beyond repair. Well, whatever. No sense in crying over spilt milk. Okay, what's an A? A! Can I, can I pass through this area that was filled with noxious gas? Hold on, I'm reading real quick. Somewhere in here... One of these damn rooms is different. That's the room is different. Okay. Okay, uh, A. Uh, wait, hold on. Is it 26A? I lost my place. <laughs> We're in 20A. 20A, alright.
All right, same kind of thing. These various stuff in a chest. Okay, let's do the same magical dance. Do the magic dance. Do the magic dance. Who is in this room? I see three people in the room. I'm sorry. I was reading something. I'm I'm wherever I am. <laughs> Another kaboom. And I pick up the wrong book. Shaking. Not a kaboom. I think this is a fortitude save. A little bit of poison. <laughs> Dude, Wizard College sucks. Who wants to go to Wizard College? Me, 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 me. If I can become a wizard by the time I'm done, I'll go to Wizard College. Constitution saves. Out of Tinker, Mikhail, and. Terry. Yeah, you would need a save. Not Samus. Kaboom! Oh, Samus is making the save for Miguel. I see. Yeah, I was trying to use my thing, but I don't think it's working right for him. Okay. Yeah, the, the yeah, two equations are different. Alright, Tinker passes, Terry passes, uh, McAle does not pass. He's tough, uh, he can take it. Even, actually, is it plus four? Yeah, yeah it was a plus, plus four. four, he passes. Oh. I, need, I need it once more from all three of you. <laughs> The first one was if you died or not. Even better. Okay, so that 14 will fail. Those two pass. Miguel's feet turn to stone. Ooh, he likes oh, it that way. Another save from every person in there. You need another another save? Correct, I need save number three. How many saves do you need? You can now you have some rock boots. Okay, so Tinker and Terry are not petrified. Miguel, however, his feet are turned keep, to stone. He's keep in scared. mind that's the extra D4, so that's a 19. From earlier. Okay. And uh, he needs to make another save. Miguel. Jesus. <laughs> If it helps, I have stone shape. So, 19 plus another 4. Okay. Eventually, he shrugs off, and his, his feet uh, are no longer stone. However, they are tingling. I imagine okay. that's the way he likes it. Basically, his feet are asleep right now. They're going to be asleep for the next couple minutes. Someone needs to turn off their thing. There we go. Okay, who has tingly feet? Sorry. It's just not an actual, like, status ailment or anything. It's just a special deal. Yes, he walks around awkwardly. <laughs> he has disadvantage on any dancing checks. <laughs> Essentially, this room tried to petrify you all. <laughs> so wait a second, wait a second. The very first room we're in, we got afraid, and now we're petrified? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> yes. Whatever. I start rummaging around in the box. So far, we've been frightened, and bamboozled, and gassed. And exploded. All right, inside the box are some very specific scrolls, which we'll throw in just to be fun, guys. All right, there is 
that back a open. Scroll of Cloud Kill. This level spell. Uh, I have to get my thing open here. Let me know when you're ready to write stuff down again. Sorry, I have to do the thing with the mouse, and it's kind of irritating. Alright, uh, scroll Cloud Kill. Scroll of Wall of Stone. Wall of Stone. A scroll of protection from magical edged weapons. An abjuration spell I'll probably never be able to cast, okay? Uh, and that's it. You know, this is the best time to play a wizard. All these damn spells I can cast. Fifth level. So yes, this has gotten very Harry Potter. We had the fucking Patronuses, and now we have the one dormitory. Okay, is C uh, cleared out yet? C is now cleared. Well, then we go through that treasure chest now. Okay, I already did the that. All right. Uh, Inside of the chest is a smaller chest with three locks. <laughs> I'm gonna keep putting you in harm way in harm's way, Witty, because I know you'd like it like that. So. Oh, there's three well, locks. Half an hour later. Half an hour later. <laughs> ben Five. may hand it open from a distance. Ben, get in room C with me. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, I, sorry, I have my thing up. Five, five gold ingots, each worth 75 gold. Uh, gold ingot times five, five GP. Okay. They're each worth they 75. Were worth 75. They're, worth, how, they're 75 gold each, is that right? Correct. Okay. Four chunks of amber worth a hundred gold each. Okay. A small cloth bag containing a hundred and twenty three platinum, really? So much gold. And a gold ring instead of an emerald, a two thousand two hundred gold piece of value. Okay, Man, seriously, you guys are literally no going to spend all this money on. Next adventure. You're At complaining? This point, we can just buy Kansas. Let's just <laughs> buy Kansas. How much? How much is the acreage worth here in Kansas? We might have enough gold to buy it. <laughs> developed or undeveloped? Well, some of the places are rather developed with wizard towers, pyramids, temples. Flying fortresses. <laughs> you should probably buy a great band. <laughs> Some slum lords of great band. At the moment, undeveloped land is selling for roughly four hundred and fifty dollars an acre. I think? No. That doesn't sound right. I now convert that to gold and the future. Hey guys, I, I have a recommendation. Since we have a nice defensible room with individual beds, let's take a nap for eight hours real quick. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just recharge, get our spells up. There's Which only room are you one going door. Into? Which one? 
I'm going to take the gas room. Okay. You should totally hide in the summoner's room instead. I'm going to cast and then we bar we Then we bar the door and Jonathan turns on his parrot, right? Yes, John parrot <laughs> for stopping. Parrot comes on. Here it comes on. Nice. Polly will let if, us know if anything goofy happens. I'll oh, cast the uh, the. Oh, I got the name for this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Guardians of Faith. I assume Witty will also cast Guardians of Faith. We're as safe as we could possibly be in this room. Except for traps already in this room. Okay, why is everybody in C with me? Like, there's enough for everyone to, like, have one. Nope. Fine, I'll fucking take Witty. We'll go have our own orgy. Fuck you, then. <laughs> what, are you in a, what are you the hell you doing in room A with me? <clears throat> somebody, somebody has to sleep in room A, so I guess it might as well be me. Why are we splitting up? We're not splitting up. These rooms are like super close together. We might die. <laughs> right, I'll take my room over here in B, and then I'll cast Lyman's well, tiny hut, seal the room off, make sure that the door is here and another door is here, <laughs> that way my compatriots can get in. It'll hide under the blanket of warming, of warmth. Frightened and afraid. Here in the Paladin's aura. Does anything happen in the night? Stuff does happen, but not to you. I'm gonna. Uh, I actually take a two-minute break so I can get a drink. And use the restroom. Not necessarily in that order. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll be right back then. Well, hello for those who remain. How are you guys? Um, can I borrow sixty six thousand dollars? If I had sixty-six thousand dollars to loan you, you know you would. How about sixty-five? So greedy. Follow that link and check out the sweetest tiny house I've seen for sale complete. I'm pretty sure if I had the money, I would buy that house right the hell now. Assuming it is still for sale. I like the L-shaped couch. Big loft up top. Tower. Uh, not crazy about those stairs. Keep in mind, those stairs are full of storage. And that's probably three-quarter inch plywood also. Yeah, I mean, I just, like, looking at it, like, just, um, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but, like, when you just look at it, you can't tell me just, just the casual observation doesn't make you go, eh. oh. No, I thought it was pretty sweet, actually. Because the one of the hardest things to work in is adequate storage in the in the stairs, and I think this guy nailed it. Oh, I see what he did here. Okay. Yeah, like except for the actual wood uh, for the um, steps and the supports, it's totally open, so you can put storage yeah. into the bottom, the next shelf, the next shelf, and each of those are the sides. Uh, my only now looking at it, my only complaint is. Just from the pictures, it does not look like it is an even spacing between the shelves. No, because ideally, especially like the top one, you want to 